so continuing on from what we did last week where we were doing some lower body stretches for those of you that sit a lot all day we're going to move on to upper body as i said last week this is really a two-part deal because if you're sitting a lot especially if you're sitting at a computer or you're using a tablet or you're using your phone a lot we not only want to address the lower body which we went through on the last video so hips, glutes, hamstrings, quads. We also want to address the upper body, specifically our thoracic spine and getting our chest more open because a lot of us will sit in this internally rotated position if we're on our computers or we're on our phones and that's going to create this problem which is going to start to creep up through our neck, through our traps and also through our shoulders. So trying to keep this really simple and really straightforward and stuff that you can do at home. Uh, as I went through last time at the end of the video, the bretzel, which we went into in more detail last time, is not only a really good one for the lower body, but it's a really good one for that thoracic spine, opening that chest up as well too. If you need specifics for this, go back to our last video and just have a watch. But this is probably the best bang for your buck stretch that you can do in order to not only get some good stretch through your lower body, but through your upper body. So that's probably stretch one. Stretch two is as simple as just getting yourself in a doorway. I'm just going to use the upright on the pull-up rig here, but there's three um, different stretches you can do, and you can just do it in a doorway. First one is just getting my elbow in line with my shoulder and turning away from my elbow, trying to get a big stretch through my pecs, through my interior delts, through my bicep as well, and just really trying to open that chest up. Holding for 15 to 30 seconds, again, making sure when we're in this position, breathing into it. As we breathe in, we can increase that stretch, and then you'll alternate sides. So 30 seconds to a minute each side. Then from there, you can move on to trying to get those lats stretched out. So if this was my door frame, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get my hand on the opposite side. So if I'm using my right side, I'm going to turn my hand over to the left side there and then trying to keep a relative, relatively flat back. I'm just going to stretch back into it and give myself a nice big stretch out through my lats, my triceps. Stretch into it again, taking those big breaths in and then out to exhale out and relax into that stretch. Okay, again, 30 seconds to a minute each side. And then the last stretch you can do, this is a bit of a, this is one that some people find a little bit difficult to set up. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to place it behind my back. And then I'm just going to grab on to that door frame and then move away from where my hand's anchored on that door. From there, I'm going to take my other, my other hand, place it on my head and just move my ear down towards my shoulder. And what I'm looking for is I'm getting a big stretch through my traps and a big stretch through my neck just here. Now what I can do to move the position of the stretch while I'm keeping tension on that back hand is just move my chest down and you'll find that it's going to move the position of the stretch around your neck as you move your chin to your chest or you can move up. But what we want to do is just apply nice light pressure, breathe into that end position again and then get a little bit more of a stretch as we do that. 30 seconds to a minute. You can do all three of those stretches as a bit of a circuit. So 30 seconds each side with the elbow up, 30 seconds each side with the hand back, pulling back from the door frame. And then this one's called a bully stretch, but just that bully stretch there, okay, working that position. So that's the first series that you can do from there. The other one that we do a lot, and we do this quite a lot in our warm-ups, is our, our moose antlers. So when we do a moose antler, what we're going to do, we're going to start in this position if we can. If you lack the ankle flexion to get into this position, you can just go onto your toes, but if you can, shoelaces down. We want to keep our hips down in contact with our heels. We're going to straighten our arms out. Then from there, I'm going to take one hand, place it on the back of my head. And what I want to do is keep this elbow locked, but I'm trying to open my chest up to the ceiling. Okay, what I don't want to do is just put my hand up and keep my head down. I'm trying to turn, get my nose pointed to the sky and get that chest opened up. I'm going to pause for three seconds, breathing into that end position. Then I'm going to come back. I'm going to walk my hands out a little bit further and I'm going to alternate sides. 
For this, you'll do 10 to 20 reps each side. If you're doing it a few times a day in conjunction with those chest stretch, that lat stretch and that trap stretch that we just went through, it's probably only, you probably only need to do 10 to 20 times each side. But remember with that moose antler stretch is we wanna really try and get that chest opened up. We don't wanna just have our elbow pointing towards the sky. We wanna try and get that chest pointed back towards the ceiling. So there's some stretches that you can do without equipment. I am going to mention one that you can do with minimal equipment just because it's really simple, it's really straightforward and it's probably one of the best bang for your buck thoracic stretches that you can do. All you really need is a dowel PVC pipe like we've got here. You can use a broom handle, whatever you have access to, but this one's a dislocate and as I said, this one's nice and simple and it's easy and you can just grab a dowel and you can just do this at any point. But when we do it, we're gonna take a nice wide grip on the dowel. What we wanna do is keep those elbows locked. We also wanna think about, like when we were talking about the couch stretch in the last video, think about engaging those abs, keeping those ribs tucked down. And then I'm just gonna roll over and then come back. Okay, nice and controlled, getting that nice big stretch out. I'm just going to do 10 to 20 times. And away I go. That's all I need to do if I'm going to do those dislocates. So with these, as you become a little bit more proficient, you can bring your hands in a little bit closer. But the key is what we want to do. We want to keep those elbows locked. We want it nice and smooth, nice and controlled. We don't want it to be a jolting movement. And we want to make sure when we do it, we're able to keep those elbows locked all the way through, get that nice big stretch out through our chest and just increase that range of motion open that chest up after being sitting on that computer or our phone all day. So that there concludes our simple body weight series of stretches that you can do to try and alleviate some of the tension that's going to build up from being on your chair or being on your ass on a chair all day. If you have any questions or anything that you would like us to go through, please comment below, send us a message, send us an email. If you liked the information that we put in here, please share, tell a friend. If you didn't, you can just act like it never happened and we will see you next week. Goodbye.